welcome back to my channel. So today's look is so appropriate for summer. It reminds me of like a summer sunrise or something like that. I love the ombre lip. I think that that just really makes the look. And the little pop of highlight here on the eyelid is just something that's really unique about this look too. So if you guys want to see how I get this look, then just keep watching. All right, let's get started with this face. We are going in with the Nivea for Men Post Shaving Sensitive Skin Balm, and we are just rubbing that all into the face. Now we are going in with the Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal Foundation. I'm in the shade 105, and I'm just doing a dot-to-dot -dot, um, foundation routine here and just putting the product all over the face there so we can begin to um, buff that out with our Kabuki brush. Since we are not going to be having a lot of fallout on to um, with our eyes today, I decided to go ahead and start with foundation. And that's how I determine if I want to start with eyes or if I want to start with the face first. Because if you do have a lot of fallout, um, sometimes it can just get all over the face and it can ruin all of the foundation that you just put on. Now we are going in with our concealer and I am in the shade Light Pell. This is the Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Concealer and it's one of my faves and I am just highlighting now we're going in with the damp beauty blender and just blending that out like usual Now we're taking the shade Light Palette by Kat Von D and we're just using the peachy shade over there and we are just going to put this onto the concealer, this powder here, because it helps us to stay nice and matte throughout the day. And um, yeah, so we are gonna be trying the MAC um, Prep and Prime. And this is their version of the translucent, translucent finishing powder. And I'm giving this a shot. I tried it yesterday and it worked, it worked fine. And a friend gave it to me. So I just, I'm trying it out and seeing how I like it. Um, now we're just going in with a shade that's a little bit darker than the foundation shade. And this is the Infallible Pro Matte 200 um, in the shade 200 um, powder. And I'm just putting that over to the face. Now we are using the Too Faced Chocolate Soule Matte Deep um, Bronzer and we are just contouring those cheekbones. I've been putting the contour line up a little bit higher than where my natural cheekbone is and I find that um, I'm really liking how that looks and it's giving me much more of a defined cheekbone. And I'm just applying that onto the forehead as well. Every, you all know I like to definitely bring down the deeper shades a little bit more because um, I want to create more of a smaller forehead on myself. We're taking that very dark deep shade and we are just going to contour the jawline. I love to contour with powders. I just feel like it gives me so much more flexibility. And so we are just contouring it up today. I wanted a nice contour with this look. And now we're contouring the lip, taking that dark shade. And I'm using um, a little bit more of a flimsier brush than I usually use on that. The brush is actually a Sigma brush and it's the E70. I'm also going to use that same brush for my nose contour because I find that this flimsier brush is helping me to blend a little bit better. And so I've been switching to that lately. So you guys should give that a shot. Once again, it's the Sigma E70 brush. And now we're just contouring the nose. I'm putting a little bit of a line there, um, making more of a ball shaped for the nose. Now we're taking that light shade in the middle. I know there's hardly any left. I will be buying a new um, Kat Von D shade light palette soon. God, I hope so. Now we're going in with the Milani blush, and I love this blush. It's in the shade Coral Cove. And when I do my blush, I put it on the apples of my cheeks, and then I bring it back, but I bring it low to where the contour is. I don't put it on the actual cheekbones. And I just dust it a little bit onto the nose because I like the look that that gives me. Now I'm using the Champagne Pop, and I'm just putting that on the very tops of the cheekbones, and I apply um, the highlight with my finger on the nose because I feel like it gives me more control. Now we're 
we're moving on to the eyes and we are going to be using some scotch tape here and I'm leaving some space as you can see um, where that lower lash line meets as you can see that space that I'm leaving there I'm not bringing it all the way up to the lashes I'm leaving a little space in there because when we when we begin to put eyeshadow on the bottom there it's going to naturally blend in with the shadow that we put on top if we don't there's going to be a line of demarcation we're using the Morphe 350 palette today and we're using a big fluffy brush this is my Sigma um, E40 brush and we're just going to use that that orangey um, peachy color for my transition shade and I'm just putting that all over um, where the crease and the upper upper brow bone meet and that is where you want that transition shade to be my friends we're taking that tangerine type shade and we're using the MAC 217 brush and we are just um, making those windshield wiper motions from the inner to the outer corner and I'm zooming in a little bit there for you all and we're making this a little bit lower than that transition shade this is going to give us that, that nice sunset color I'm mixing these two colors together to create a nice pinky fuchsia sunset shade so it's a deeper purple type color um, and then with a hot pink color I mix those two together I actually did two taps into the pink and then one tap into the dark each time whenever I would reapply to get pigment onto the brush and that's when I found I had that perfect shade for the color that I wanted so we are just putting that into the crease and we're actually putting a little bit onto the outer corner of the eye and the eyelid as well and just making sure that you are putting it onto that tape as well because that's what's going to help give you that line whenever you do take the tape off Whew, i need to breathe and slow it down a bit um so anyways we're putting that product onto the crease making those circular motions and making sure we're getting a nice blend and it's really important that we do add it on to the outer corner of that eye. Um, stand back and make sure that everything looks even and that the color looks um, like it matches the other eye since we are mixing colors. Now we're taking a pencil brush and I, what I like to do is tap the lid there because I find that it doesn't give me, um, sometimes whenever you take the lid outward um, and with your finger you'll get a line onto your foundation so I just actually um, hug it onto the eye and pull the eyelid and that usually helps me a little bit better I hope that made sense and now we're taking this pencil brush and because it's a little bit more precise and we're putting the same colors that we did before onto that inner corner of the eye and we're just bringing it in there and we're leaving some space in the middle there for that little pop shade that we're about to add we are using some eye drops there and I went ahead and dampened the brush with those eye drops um, and we that's just going to help us get more pigment and less fallout and we are taking that nice pink champagne color I've really been into that this color this summer and we are just applying this I'm tapping it on to the eye more than smearing it onto the eye and um, I take different motions um, and I as you can see I'm bringing it up I'm bringing it side by side um, and it, we're making it go a little bit onto that crease as well bringing it up a little bit higher than you would normally think we're mixing those same two colors together and I'm taking the MAC 217 and I'm just kind of blending that out because even though we do want it to pop we still don't want there to be a super harsh line so we're just blending that out and a little bit more onto the crease as well so we can get a nice beautiful blend Now we're taking off the tape and voila, beautiful sharp line. I love this technique and it looks so good with these light colors. We're using that white shade in the Morphe 350 palette and I'm just using, it. this is actually like a foundation brush but it's what I had around. So I went ahead and um, it just goes to show that you can make anything work. And now I'm blending that out, no excess product is on that brush and I'm taking um, that coral shade with my pencil brush and I'm going to be putting this all underneath the eye. So since we left that space, this is going to um, blend in very well with the top shade there, as you can see. So we're just really blending and smoking that out with that orange tangerine shade. And this is just going to help tie the look all in together. Okay, let's get started on the eyeliner. 
Um, I'm using the Maybelline gel liner in the shade Blackest Black, and this is their gel liner. So I'm using my Sigma brush. Um, this is one of my faves. It's the E05. It's um, it's a marvelous brush. I, this is my perfect match. So I, I like to go ahead and start at the inner corner there and just bring it up. And as you have that tape as your guideline, so it's really easy. Just follow that tape and um, try not to steer away from that. Um, bring the line straight up and then just swoop it right down and fill in the space. Um, as you can see, I kind of pull the eye a little bit there so that we can get, um, so we can get no creasing. Um, and that we can get a cleaner application with the liner. And I'm actually just bringing that into the um, waterline there as well. Now I'm actually cleaning up some of the line. With my liner, it does take me a little bit of time um, because I do like it to get as I do like it to be as perfect as I can. And with the technique today, I wanted people to see that I did do like a tape technique and that I had a very sharp line. So I actually didn't take the liner up as much as I normally would because I did want people to see that technique. Now that the eyeliner is done, um, I went ahead and just did the other eye off camera um, because I thought you all caught the drift. Um, I'm going to be starting with this beautiful um, sunset ombre lip. I'm actually in the shade um, Ultra Color Rich Perfect Plum 256 and this is a Avon color. That's so random. But I've, I got this from my mom. And if you have anything that's kind of like plum or just something that's a little bit darker, this color actually has some shimmer into it as well. So it doesn't have to be specifically matte, but anything that you think would mesh well with a purple and a fuchsia. Um, the next color I'm totally in love with. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this color. It's 325 and it's by CoverGirl. It's in the shade 325 and it's by CoverGirl and it's called Spellbound. But I love this color and those two mixed together were fabulous. So um, yeah, I almost forgot to put on my mascara. So we are just going to finish this look up by adding a few coats of mascara. And when I say few, I mean like 20 to 40 on each eye. But I go ahead and speed it up for you guys, for you guys because I know that you all don't want to sit through that. So I went ahead, added that onto the top, and now we are actually going to be putting that onto the bottom eyelashes as well. Um, because since the top is so, the top eyes are so va va boom, I definitely did want to add a little bit of drama onto the lower lash line. So that's why I'm going ahead and putting um, some mascara onto those lower lashes as well. you all liked this tutorial um, please remember to give me a thumbs up and always subscribe and comment down below to let me know what you know thank you all and I look forward to seeing you soon bye